Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. B channel. I've already done a video where I covered PowerDirector as a video editing app. In this video, we'll show you how you can edit videos on your deck station using KineMaster Video Edit. So, um, KineMaster. KineMaster is a bit more feature-rich uh, Android app than the PowerDirector. Um, KineMaster is free to download, but I believe it's chargeable. Uh, what I mean is you need to pay monthly subscription to uh, take the watermark off. So here we are, I go in here and this is how it looks like. And obviously, as you can see, in-app purchases. If I go to read more, let's see if they're actually going to tell me how much it cost. No, it doesn't say how much it cost. But uh, what I noticed, I'm not sure if it's going to happen in this video, I don't really get a watermark at all and I'm not paying anything. So possibly that is a feature only available for deck station. I don't know. Um, let me know if you're getting the same, uh, well, not issue, but the same What's, oh, what you say? Um, basically, if you're using High Master and Dexation and you don't get watermark, let me know. Because uh, um, if I use this app on my phone, the same phone that I'm using now to connect to Dexation, I'll get watermark. But uh, if I use on a different phone, I won't. So what I'll do, well, I will basically show you how the video, uh, this editing app is working. I quickly download this app on my old Note 4 phone. And I'll show you what I mean. So while it's downloading, let's plug in this to charge because it's nearly dying. So I'll leave that later. I will show you what I mean by watermark. So let's jump in into video editing uh, process. So I open up in the window mode. Obviously, if I click the magic buttons, it goes in the full screen mode. Magic buttons is uh, basically the feature that you will get if you download a desktop hub app on your deck station. I've done a video about it. I will leave the link in down description below if I will remember. And um, that's how you get basically a full screen. So uh, this is based some of the things I was messing about. So let's say delete them. So click delete, click on the project, delete, click on the project, delete. So that's what you should get when you start straight away from uh, scratch. Obviously KineMaster all, it was also available on iPhones. That's fine. So uh, settings, uh, help, and a shop. Shop is basically why it's telling me it's not connected to internet. I don't know because I have internet connected. Anyway, uh, settings. About account, you can connect to your account. I obviously connected to your account. You see team license. This is a bit strange. Uh, I don't know why it's actually team license. Uh, Default, default layer duration, six seconds. That's basically if you enter a transition, I believe, that's gonna be default by six seconds. Record uh, audio where, record audio where, record video, if you're recording within this app. Uh, whether this media mode, media browser full screen mode, fine, audio full screen mode. I don't really know what that is. I just left it. Basically what you see here, let me move the camera. That's how I left it from day one. I'm not done anything here at all. So uh, I left as default. So click on the back arrow, click view project. Project assistant, it just helps you to select the videos. It's just a quick and dirty way to edit videos. Or if you wanna go and dive in and do all your editing from scratch, tinkering with every single video, you go to empty project. So here we are, I presented with the main screen. So in all this black area, that's where you're gonna see videos. This is a timeline and this is all the editing and all the settings will appear here. Basically, uh, if, uh, redo, undo, uh, share. This is a belief settings where I can choose the video fade in, fade out settings and etc. editing. We were again, that's where I can change. If default was set up on six, I can change here all these settings. So let me go back to six. Fit in screen, uh, fill screen, um, project default photo crop. Uh, so fit the screen, no, fill the screen. And uh, no, no here, fade in and out videos, that's fine. And audio the same, fade in, fade out, fade out, and the master volume you can change here as well. Tick. This button will show you all the timelines in here. And this is, I don't really know what that is. Oh, it's probably back all the way to the front of the video. We're gonna find out that later. Um, Cause well, I'm, I'm using PowerDirect more than KineMaster cause it's kind of a bit trickier uh, to use, but anyway, let's leave it. So. 
when I press, hold on, when I press media, it gives me straight away to all the folders and where is on my phone the video file. So I know that I used AZ recorder to record a video about emails on the, you, you check your emails using a browsers, browser. So let's do this video. Let's edit this video. So I select the video, that's all fine. Click back. Uh, do you want to enter anything else? Not really. Tick. So that's it. That's the video done. So if I click, here we are. That is actually quite neat feature here. Jump straight away to the back of the video. So I know when I start recording a video, I always wait the hand. So let's wait. And there we are. That's the hand. And I should start talking here. So if I click on the video and the video go, gets like a yellow border goes all around the video, I get more, I've been presented with more settings that I can do with that specific video clip. So obviously I want to cut it. And in the power director, when you, when you choose cut, it just splits the video in half or splits the video exactly where the, the time head is located. Obviously, as you can see now, uh, I can move around and let's say by here. So trim to the left of the playhead. That means everything from the left of this line will disappear. This is basically the same just from the right. Split is literally just splitting here and leaves both video parts still on the timeline. Extract the audio is extract the audio from entire video. And this is split and insert the freeze frame. That is, let's say you're showing something and you want to just show that one frame as a still image for a couple of seconds, you use this feature. So let's say trim everything from the left. As you can see, everything from the left disappeared. Let's go back to the main menu and play. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. B channel. That's fine, I'm talking, it's all good. So let's go, let's find out where I'm yeah. I stop yapping. So come on, where I stop yapping. So I'm just click and hold. Here we are, that's the hand goes. So let's go anywhere. So they said that's where I want the line or the split to happen. Obviously right now, I don't wanna cut and delete everything from the left or cut and delete everything from the right. I wanna split literally in here. So I just done a split and let's see how it's happened. Using just the browser, so don't go anywhere. Here we are, all, all good. So we just literally split that frame and made two parts of that video that I done. So let's go find out. I just move around the camera. Here we are. That's the hand goes again. Stop. So let's say I want to split by here. So again, I click this. <coughs> Excuse me. So right now, I need to split this video in this place. I already done a split by here. So all this video right now won't be edited or this part of the video on the, where the yellow line goes around. And obviously all this, on the left, that's where I'm preparing to start talking again. I don't need. So I can click this and it takes that away. So right now, if I go back and play a couple of seconds, come on, don't freeze up. Come back a couple of seconds. Let's watch. Interact with emails using just the browser. So don't go anywhere. So, let's as you can see, just split that. It went straight to, uh, to another part of the video. Now I need to enter or insert my intro with the power director i'm always inserting video first video in intro first then i do edit and then i drag and drop where it's supposed to be because to be to be honest it's a bit hard to drag all the way from the back just click and hold and go because you can't you can't uh click and just scroll through it's a bit pain in the bum if you watch that video you will see what i mean i will leave the video like i said in the down description below if i will forget I'm sorry, let me know and uh, I'll put that video, I'll put that link straight away as soon as I will remember, as soon as somebody will remi remind me. Anyway, let's go to this. By the way, you can't, on the screen, you can't pinch in and out. It means you can shrink timeline and no, and not shrink timeline. In this one, I don't really get this. That's all I get is just basically click and click with the mouse and just go up and down, well, left and right. I cannot use a mouse wheel to scroll through. So that's where I need to insert the video. I just leave by here and I do video. And where is my intro? There, click. Straight away, the video inserted where the time head was. So if I click there and I go back, 
I should get the intro now. So don't go anywhere. Here so, we are. Let's say you don't want I got all these things happened. Well, straight away is much easier to record. Let's go to. Well, come on, come on. Let's go to what is it? So I'm basically just explaining all this video about emails. So I just click and just flick left. Just go and go until I want to delete something or amend something or just use this short key and go back straight, go to a back. So from the back, let's see where I'm saying bye bye to all of you, my dear viewers. And I will try to do a video as soon as possibly can. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye. That's it. That's why I stopped chatting. Uh, again, I need to do, do a cut. Click and choose the scissors and trim everything to the right. That's it. It's done. It's, it's, it's disappeared. It don't exist anymore. So that's it. The video is nearly ready. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with the video, etc. Always we can do a picture in picture. Let's say where I'm mentioning we mentioned this free this email. Video will show you free email checking. Let's say I want here insert the overlay as image. I'm using layers then. So click on layers and I give me the option. I can insert another media, effect, overlay. It's like a stickers, text or handwrite. So let's say I want to insert another video on top of that video. Um, which video we're going to insert now? Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I have a video of the couch. I don't know why. Don't ask me, but I have a video of the couch. So let's say I want to insert here. It's showing, showing, showing. And I want to somewhere here do a cut. So scissors split to the right. And obviously, if I click on this video, it gives me the editing options specifically to that video. So, uh, again, in animation is basically fade in or fade. Here we are, it gives me a, a pop. Let's do boop, pop. That's it. If I click again, overlay animation. So, flick. As you can see, it's, it's constantly flicking. Okay. Loads of sofas, ring. That's fine. Floating. Okay. Drift. Rain. Spin left, spin right, and I don't want any back. Uh, out animation, I want to fade, uh, scale up. Here we are, that will do. So tick, and let's see how it's happening now with this video. So I click. Email checking websites. Keep the way the image or the video of a sofa or something the, popped up. Apps like inbox app, Gmail app. Pause, I don't want this. So click on that. Again, I get more information. I can do a audio just for that video. I can basically say no audio happen must be well i cannot hear any audio from this specific video clip so i just do this all the way okay i can do all this left right and um pinch um pitch sorry um what's this called audio levels crop i can do cropping so let's say crop i want to mask i want to shape off the heart so as you can see right now i have a heart and I can do, let's say, I want just that. It gives me a red line, which is, tells me exactly where it's perfect square. And bingo. Now I have the, the video playing inside or image showing in there as a heart. So let's go back and press play. No checking websites. Bingo. Inbox. Again, while I have this, I can do another layer on top. So while this is happening, let's say I want to add another layer which I think this is a video, right, it's okay. This is a video when I was planning, um, well, I will launch a video later in a week or so where I'm playing, uh, what's this called, PS1 games on NVIDIA Shield TV. Again, click, cut that from there. So go back, so this video is overlapping that video. So let's say I wanna go here and I want this video to be shown here. So press play. Free email checking websites bingo and there we are so they're all fine you possibly want to add another layer sadly it won't allow to add another layer because that you are only allowed to have a main video line 
an extra two lines. The third extra line won't work. So as you can see, it's all like a lines going across. This means you cannot use that anymore. Well, you can't see what's in there anymore. Even if I click on this, you see main one, first, second, third one will be, well, you won't see the third one. So if you want to play, you can only play with one main line and two extra lines. So go back to this. Obviously, I don't, I can't use this. That's all fine. This tells me a message saying the the maximum layers has been uh, exceeded. So I click OK and I use the trash can to take the video off. So let's say I don't want that anymore. Yes, I don't. I, I want to keep this. This is a key which is basically um, adds the way this happens with audio. As you can see here, the small dot came up. So let's say if I click on this one and I'll delete, let's say when I'm yapping. In this video. So from here, I want to split this in half. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Click on here. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Undo. Undo. The levels of audio, you can only edit in a layer video, if you know what I mean. So if I click on this. Add the video. Let's add the same video again. Let's cut somewhere here to the right. So now, if I click this, drag to the front. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mr. V Channel. In this video, we'll show you free email checking websites, Gmail inbox. Hello. So let's cut from here to the left. Bingo. Cut. Okay. So drag that and this one, I want audio, audio to start normally and then that. So right now the videos should be able to um, edit the audio. I think that's the way, because like I said, I'm not really fast of using the Kind Master. I'm a more power director user, but it's this one has got more features and probably one day we'll spend just learning more and more on this app. What I'm showing is just what I self learned in just past couple hours preparing for this video. Let's delete this again. Layers uh, effect. There's loads of effects you can do. You can uh, add the blur. So let's say if you have uh, what's this called somewhere uh, very sensitive information, you can actually hide it. So let's say you want to show something and you can blur your passwords. And uh, something like, well, like I said, information, blur strength all the way from a bit to absolutely you can't see exactly what the hell is be behind it. As you can see, if I cover, I don't even know that. Well, I can't even see if, if that should be a webcam video recording. So it's, it's a very handy feature. What else you can do? Uh, layers, I just add a text. So, hello, that's a text. And Obviously, as big as the small you want. So, hello, delete that. Again, handwrite. So you can handwrite this stuff on the screen if you want to. Okay, and that's just handwrite this, the stuff. Let's say you want to point viewers to a specific part of the video. You can do that just by saying, oh, listen, look at this. That's the app you need to download. And it's basically annotates. So if we go and email checking websites, Gmail inbox and Outlook. Ta-da, that's the place you need to go. All good. Delete. Uh, voice, it's a basic voiceover. So if you're showing a video without recording a webcam like I did here, just a video, you can add a voiceover. I won't press start because I'm right now recording all this and my phone microphone is already being used by this. Uh, screen recorder app, so I don't want to press that and it's gonna just give me an error An audio you can add an audio. So a live was this That will do so press plus Video is there or audio is there. So if I press play Again if I click on this one, I can do all this uh, Basically settings or edits for audio master level of audio. Let's do at 11 so right now video or audio should be quieter. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. B channel. In this video, we'll show you free email checking. Here we are, as you can see, it's all good. Uh, background, 
uh, gives them more priority to the background trim and splits you can split the audio as well so this video has just been halved by there delete I don't want this um, what else that's it now about this watermark so I get my phone note 4 up and running and do open kind master and I'll show you what I mean allow Yes, it's giving me asking me all these permissions. That's fine. I take Kai Master empty project and uh, video of the camera. Right. I hope you will be able to see. You see? Hold on. Let me show that. That you see that? It says Kai Master watermark. Okay. You see that? Made by Kai Master. That is always showing. And if I click on the trash can to basically take the map, uh, watermark off, it gives me the message saying, uh, you need to pay two pounds and 39 pence a month to get, get this off. This one is supposed to be here, by here. I can't see it and I'm not paid nothing. So I don't know why it's not showing on a deck station and I'm glad that actually it's not showing deck station because this means I'm probably gonna use this app more and more. But that, that's what happens. That's that's the strange thing about it. Uh, what else? I think, oh yeah, and that button, the red button, is records directly straight into a timeline. If you press the red button, it takes a video or, no, it takes video or, or photo and inserts directly to where you have this, the line or this uh, video head pointed to. And right, then when all done, you click back, goes to main menu, I click on there, uh, titled will be uh, email sites and bubbles is basically gives me a duplicate project or upload the project to God knows where. I like to do is press the share button and save to a gallery to give me an option where five gigabytes of 4K, you kidding me, I'm gonna do a HD uh yeah let's do full hd so it's 1.3 gigabytes that video i'm not sure if that same video will get the same space used on the power director i need to find out that i uh, will leave uh, in the description below if i exported the same video using power director how the video file size compares so 1080p all fine and it's exporting now so i'm gonna leave it and when it's done you just upload to your favorite websites and share with everyone that magnificent video you just edited and created. And it tells me eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining ish. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video. Uh, if I missed anything or if I forgot to mention something or you want to know more, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do another video, a follow up to this, or I'll basically reply to you as soon as I can. I'm replying to every single comment and I read every single comment. If you will see a small heart appears next to your comments, it means I read it, I, I saw your comment, I understood it and etc. and I just pressed heart. It means like, yes, I seen your comment. And if you want, um, like I said, leave a request down in the description below. I will answer and I will try to fulfill this request for you as fast as possibly can. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.